Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. This video created for NCTS 2021 organized by Polytechnic Tuan Ku Said Sirajuddin Pelis. This detection system by using Receive Signal Strength Indicator Technique is title of my paper under electrical and electronic team. But first, let me introduce my name. My name is Anis Shazlin binti Cik Noor Azman and I'm from Polytechnic Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah. My project is supervised by Puan Nurul Huda binti Muhammad Saleh. So this is my abstract. A coronavirus is such a typical contamination that causes sickness in your nose or upper throat. Positive cases of COVID-19 have grown in Malaysia with the majority of customers coming from workplace area. It reveals how difficult for them to keep a safe distance while working in their workplace area. Because there is no cure for this problem, the only thing that can be done now is preventing by following the government's standard operating procedure. Warning system to keep user at a safe distance are the main feathers of this item. An MCU is used to determine user distance by translating the signal strength to the distance between the device using our SSI technique. The best value was attained during this testing with an accuracy of 84.4% for Tech 1 and 85.2% for Tech 2. It demonstrates that the device is capable of produce sensing motion to notify the user and can be widely employed in this industry area. Introduction. According to the Malaysia Ministry of Health, MOH, there were 2,729 mortality cases registered in total since January 2020. COVID-19 positive cases have increased in Malaysia with the majority of clusters occurring at work. The goal of this research is to create a warning system that uses RSSI getting from the non mcu to keep users at a safe distance while practicing physical distancing. It will detect their distance of less than 1 meter and then it will activate alarm to notify them. There are three journals that use as a reference to complete this research. The first one is social distancing effectiveness in reducing the cases. This study aims to present the effect of the social distancing measure in 10 highly infected cancers for almost 4 months. The result is shown that it takes 1 month until the positive cases start to reduce. The next one is the RSSI. Receive signal strength indicator is a telecommunication measurement of the power present in receive radio transmission. The last one is the Node MCU. Node MCU is an open source law based firmware and development board design specifically for Internet of Things application. This is the operation of the device. When the system starts, it will measure the distance of the user. If the distance is below than 1 meter, the system will activate the buzzer to notify the user. And then, data will send and display to the smartphone user via Blink application. After that, system will repeat. For an understanding of how the project operates, the demo video is included in this section. Question of data. The data used was obtained from the non MCU using RSSI technique that captured internet signal reading generated by the non MCU for distance measurement. When the signal from device A scanned for the signals from the device B, the signal is converted into a distance between the two users. The data retrieve is within 20 minutes for each device. Data can be found on the application and using the serial monitor in Arduino IDE software. It is then compared using a manual calculation, a ruler, to determine the device and formula's accuracy. Next part is raw data no MCU Wi-Fi module. The information provided by no MCU is in the RSSI format in unit decibel, which measures the strength of the internet signal received by the other user's smartphone. So in order to obtain raw data, we need two volunteers to do an experiment, one person per device. This is the formula strength to distance. The performance of the no MCU Wi-Fi module is analyzed using the plus minus, accuracy and the mean average formula. The following formula is used to determine the plus minus accuracy and the mean average value. This is the result of the project. If you can see in the table, there are three methods of collecting data, namely RSSI strength, ruler, and the strength formula itself. 
This section will describe the outcome of data collection, data processing and the importance of the accuracy. For instance, if the strength value is below the negative 25, which is equal to 100cm calculated using ruler and 125cm using the formula, then the puzzle will sound. The total data taken as a whole in this experiment is 21 data. Same with the raw data for distance intact too. But as we can see back there is 2 or 3 data that have same strength value but different reading on the ruler or uh, calculated manually. It showed that the RSSI signal also affected by several factors, for instance, the obstacle. The table shows the finding of this research. The data of the no MC Wi-Fi module by one subject in four trials has been complete. It shows that the accuracy of using this technique to gain the distance between two users is above 60%. On trial 4, we can observe that the accuracy is improving in Tech 2 device, while for Tech 1, the highest accuracy is obtained in trial 3, which is 84.4%. The distance detection system was successfully built using the RSSI technique where it can be detected using the no MC Wi-Fi module. This result of study achieved an almost accurate reading where the best value was obtained at a trial which is the accuracy as active 4.4% for Tech 1 and active 5.2% for Tech 2. It showed that the component used is powerful enough to sense the motion and sound and alarm to alert the user. This project would assist them as a worker in implementing the government recommendation to strengthen their physical gap by using the studies framework. At the same time, it can reduce the negative cases in the area. So that's all from me. Thank you.